happy October. Hope you're off to a good start with this month and I know everybody's getting excited, getting things together, enjoying activities. I just got back from my son's football game and that was a lot of fun. So I thought it would be a, a good time to discuss working with our subconscious mind. That topic has been coming up quite a bit in books, in conversations with other people, in different levels, in different ways. And so um, the main part that I thought I would discuss tonight is how we can work with our subconscious mind to replace the negative feedback loops that we have going with more positive feedback loops that we would like to actually see play out in our lives so that we can focus on what we do want to manifest and make happen in our regular lives with our magic however you want to apply it that's that's what I want to focus on I've um, got a list actually of several different things to work on and um, practice as far as affecting that and one of the easiest ones I think is the one that I read in the Franz Bardon initiation into Hermetics book and I did a little video showing what I made and talking about it a little bit and I'll tack that on to the end of this video so I think most people that I meet, um, when I meet them, they seem very self-confident for the most part. I meet some people that are extremely introverted, and um, some just because somebody's introverted doesn't mean they have low confidence, um, and just because somebody's extroverted doesn't mean they have really high confidence. You know, some people, or I'd say most people have at least one or two negative thoughts that run in the background in their mind that they haven't seemed to be able to defeat and I include myself in that I remember when I was around the age of 14 an older friend of mine stopped me one day and she asked me why I always seemed to walk with my eyes cast down and just kind of looking down and I didn't realize I was even doing that until she pointed it out to me. And then she said, you know, I'd like to see you work on your self-confidence, and it may sound silly, but I want every day for you to wake up, and when you're getting ready, look in the mirror and give yourself compliments. Tell yourself you're pretty. Tell yourself you're smart. And that may sound silly, but at that time in my life, that was actually very hard to do. I could not look at myself in the mirror without being shy and um, I don't know. I don't know why I couldn't give myself a compliment. I could easily compliment other people but I didn't really ever compliment myself. And um, you know that's something important to be proud of ourselves and to have confidence in ourselves. So I know several people I've talked to lately. Um, they may have several things going on great in their life, but they may have one or two things that just seem to be like a nagging thought, like a nagging thing that won't go away, that they can't seem to beat. And I think the only thing that's really hard about any of these exercises is just committing to doing them. Committing to yourself that you're going to take the 5, 10, 15 minutes a day, whatever it is, to do this for yourself. Whatever you choose to do, whether it's writing or working with the beads or whatever the case may be, you want to make sure that you think about positive affirmations, positive results that you would like to see in your life. So it could be several things. You could say, I am smart, I am successful, I am respected, I am loved, my magic is successful, um, I astral project with ease, whatever it is that you're working on that for whatever reason you can't get past in your waking thoughts, if you can start working with your subconscious mind so it's working with your conscious mind, you're going to see much faster results because the two aren't Betting heads, the two aren't conflicting with each other. 
I don't remember the exact numbers. I meant to look it up before I did this video, but I know we've all heard this sort of similar statistic that for every one negative thing you hear, it takes 50 or more positive things to kind of overtake that for some reason. It's a, a general human tendency to think about the past and dwell on the past and um, quite often to dwell on things that hurt us in the past or made us angry in the past or whatever the case may be. But that's not helping us in the present and that's not going to help us in the future. So, okay, so if you find yourself stuck in these conscious thoughts that are just like going in circles, you're thinking yourself into a box, or you're just kind of what ifing yourself, what if, or why, why is the worst question, why did this happen to me, why this, why that, I, I think that's a trap we can all fall into. So I'm going to list some things that I think are very helpful, and then I'm going to show the video at the end of, um, one of the, one of the things I'm working with. One thing you can do to get out of that conscious state of mind and more into your subconscious state of mind is you could do some automatic writing. You could do anything that you consider meditative, whether that's gardening, yoga, jogging, art, music, whatever gets you to that in-between space where you're more open-minded. And then really almost just channel your best you, what's best for you, what do you really want to see happen in your life, what do you really want to accomplish in this world, what do you really want to make happen, and then learn to eliminate the negatives from that sentence structure. So whatever you choose, you could pick one thing, you could pick five, five things, five sentences, five goals, you could adjust it as you go, you know, work with things that you think are most important in the beginning, and then as you're developing this, you may adjust it and change it a little bit down the road. Some other things you could do would be listening to um, positive audio, especially when you're sleeping. If you're sleeping and you're falling asleep with the TV on and maybe a comedy's on when you fall asleep, but then while you're sleeping a war movie comes on or some kind of, you know, freak, oh, some kind of slasher movie or something, <laughs> I don't know. Something that's not calming and peaceful and um, reaffirming for you when you're sleeping. That gets into your subconscious thoughts. And so if you could choose something, whether it's a, a peaceful audio, just, just peaceful music, or something where somebody's speaking that you enjoy their voice and they're saying positive affirmations while you're sleeping, or empowering affirmations when you're sleeping, that would be some good things you could try. Okay, so some things that I would say are worth considering if you want to work on this are the best times to work with implanting new programming <laughs> into your subconscious mind or just before you fall asleep at night and just when you first wake up in the morning. So when your brain is still in that sort of in-between, more receptive frame of mind, that's the best time to do the particular exercises and then during the day in the evening when you're wide awake just try to catch any negative thoughts that try to start running in your mind. Try to quash them right away <laughs> and not let them just continue and continue and get you in a negative mood. You have to think of your words and I know we all do but I'm just saying you have to think of your words and your thoughts as energy and they carry their own waveform and the more you feed a particular thought, it's like feeding a tulpa or a thought form in the astral realm. So we want to be feeding positive thoughts, positive outcomes, things that are going to move us in the right direction. We don't want to get stuck in what happened in the past. We don't want to get stuck in negative thinking. So I think usually in a lot of cases we hold, we're the ones that hold ourselves back from great successes in life because we don't have the confidence or the belief that we can make certain things happen. But, you know, in the, in the musical, in the magical community, we have to think beyond that. We have to believe that whatever we think, we can make happen. 
if it's a really big thing, it might take 20 more steps to get there, but you can make it happen. So we need to not be our own worst enemy. And so some of the things you can do is instead of writing the diary every night, write your positive affirmation list every night before you go to sleep. Or you can create the, the beads or the yarn with the knots where you're repeating the positive phrases to yourself just as you're falling asleep. So if you want to be more healthy and be more successful, you would, you would say, I am healthy, I am successful, or I am becoming. Don't say, I want to be, say, I am. I am becoming this, or I am that, and, start, and see yourself being that thing that you want to be. See yourself being that person, or in that better position in your job, or the healthier person. Start visualizing it as if it's already happening. Start really getting that programming in your mind. If they say it takes 30 days to overcome a habit, so if you bump that up to like an alchemical month, which would be 40 days, that would probably be about perfect and you would start seeing results. I have been working on some myself and I have started seeing definite results, you know? It's just a matter of choosing to be in control of our subconscious as much as possible and align that with our conscious life and our conscious thoughts so the two can work together and make things happen. Okay, so I, I don't want this video to go on too long. I feel like I might be leaving a couple things out. If anybody else has anything they want to add to it, of course, feel free to add anything down below. And I thank you for joining me. And I thank you for listening and watching. And, um, yeah, here's to a great October. I am doing my giveaway this month. It will be started with the new moon and completed before the full moon. And um, also, I'm going to be doing, I think, a video a week in October sharing some paranormal experiences I had growing up for the most part. Uh, some of my adult life, some of my childhood. And uh, I have a few other things to share. I'm going to be showing how to do the magic mirror this month. That should be fun. And I have a few other things planned. I'm enjoying everybody else's videos. And so here's to a great October, and thank you for watching, and many blessings, and I'll see you soon. Thanks. For this little magical aid to help implant ideas that you would like to achieve with success into your subconscious mind, you will want 40 beads. That can be simple wooden beads, plastic beads, whatever you have on hand. And if you don't have beads, you could simply make 40 knots. You'll want a string of some sort, a ribbon, a rope of some sort. It doesn't really matter. You can use whatever you have on hand. I myself am using um, this silk ribbon thread that I have. I'm using this purple color. And I'm using amethyst beads. You can get these at Michael's. You can get all sorts of semi-precious um, stones with holes already drilled into them for making different kinds of jewelry and so that's what I'm going to be using so I'm going to pick 40 of these little amethyst beads and tie them onto this ribbon okay so here's my completed strand Again, remember you could just use regular string or yarn and, and make 40 knots. The point is to have something that you're not even having to count like how many times you're saying something. So you're not having to count, oh, I've done this 40 times. You just repeat what it is that you're working on for each knot or each bead before you go to sleep and then right when you wake up in the morning. So, there we go. Here's the one that I made. One other thing I wanted to note about this is that if you like to work with stones, um, crystals or whatever, 
You could keep it on your bedside table next to something that you like to keep near you or with you most of the time so that it's also working with that energy. So here I have my um, pendulum. Here I have a nice piece of moldavite. Moldavite is um, excellent for creating pretty quick change in your life. The thing is, um, it may it may happen more quickly than you you really are ready for, and it may happen in ways that you did not consider. And I can tell you this from personal experience: it, it will end up being for your own good, but it. Um, may not be as gentle as you would have chosen for yourself if you um, were planning it out in your conscious mind. Okay, so there you go. You can keep it with um, by itself on your bed. So I would keep it by your bed. So next to your pillow perhaps if you fall asleep or keep it on your nightstand so that it's right there and easy to pick up when you fall asleep in the morning, um, when you fall asleep at night or when you get up in the morning.